Are good-hearted people being led to the slaughter by a PSYOP? I think so, and you have to watch this video. Great article came out recently, said QAnon bears striking resemblance to Bolshevik PSYOP from the 1920s known as Operation Trust. Operation Trust was a Bolshevik counterintelligence operation run from 1921 to 1926, aimed at neutralizing opposition by creating the false impression that a powerful group of military leaders had organized to stop the communist takeover. Doesn't that sound familiar? In this book, it talked about how they used generals that people People trusted and how they do people let's look they convinced the leaders that the regime had undergone a radical change communism had completely failed ideology was dead the present leaders had nothing in common with the fanatical revolutionaries of the past these agents confided in their context that the anti-soviet monarchist movement that they represented had penetrated into the higher levels of the army the security service and even the government and in time would take power and restore the monarchy sounds exactly like one of the biggest fake theories in the right-wing movement right now you could also read more about it. One of the biggest breakout stars over the last few months in the conspiracy theory realm is Simon Parks, who's been getting millions of views convincing people that there's a secret sting operation to save them and that FEMA camps and militarized streets are actually really good. Take a look. And to what Americans call Gitmo. We don't call it that in the United Kingdom. We call it Guantanamo Bay. But that's because we're British. Yeah. But the point here is that those FEMA camps that are there at the moment are for the bad guys they're not for the good guys so you shouldn't have any concerns you know if you've seen armed regular armed united states soldiers on the streets you shouldn't have any concern but 192 193,000 arrest warrants ready to roll you're going to need those fema camps to put these people in and as somebody said to me there's a lot of fat cats in washington dc who are in for quite a rude awakening because it's not going to be the Hilton Hotel for them. <laughs> exactly. Of course, he's most likely lying. The FEMA camps are not to arrest your enemies. Why would they even have to put politicians in a FEMA camp? They have high level facilities for that if they were to do that. But the FEMA camps are actually the opposite of what he's saying, and they're being used for mass vaccination sites under a Joe Biden regime. People like William Cooper and Behold a Pale Horse used to try to warn people what happens under a national emergency and a FEMA takeover of the country. And for decades, conspiracy theorists, libertarians, and conservatives knew that an over-militarized government, FEMA camps, emergency declarations, lockdowns, and quarantines are not a great thing. That's not the good guys. That's government being too big, obviously. But Simon Parks, he says the exact opposite. And everybody trusts it because it sounds so good. But who is this guy? First of all, he wrote the fame several years ago by claiming his real mother was a nine foot green alien according to the guardian and in new york daily news married uk politician claims he fathered child with an alien if you notice his political party according to the report it was the labor party that's the far left socialist party in the uk but now he's the biggest theorist in the right wing world deceiving people into thinking that fema camps are okay and to feel comfortable with military in your streets because they're really there to arrest all the enemies people just blindly believe this stuff and don't even question it all you have to do is go to his website and he'll tell you simon grew up in a family that had links to british and american intelligence simon's mother worked for mi5 however she was managed by mi5 she was in reality working for the nsa simon's grandfather was employed to secret intelligence service better known as mi6 in reality he was reporting to the cia so he's bragging on his own website about being from an intelligence community family while he's telling people that fema camps are good and that he has relationships with aliens i guess it's that easy to fool people when you want to have hope in something like a secret sting operation that never existed in the first place they're lying to you but that might be part of their plan you just don't know it. I found it interesting too when I searched for Simon Parks that the first thing that came up was the disappearance of Simon Parks, a British leading seaman who disappeared in 1986. And I saw this picture, Simon Parks, Gibraltar search for missing Royal Navy man. They never found him. And it's just so weird to me that he looks exactly like that person. I'm not saying it's him. It's probably not. It's almost definitely not, but it is very bizarre. But what's more bizarre is he's bragging about his intelligence community family. So 
Red flag, red flag, red flag. Telling you FEMA camps are good, major red flag. Come on, people. You shouldn't be this easy to fool. But other people within the MAGA and Q movement are doing a way better job of fooling people because they're feeding them a Disney-like narrative that they want to hear. Take X-22 report for an example. Still in January, he's using the Trump's going to be there for four more years. Trump's getting inaugurated. Trust me. Just buy my product and trust that Trump's going to be there. A new look at everything. With Trump staying in the White House, it might be a great time to look at Noble Gold's security option. Yes, security. It's like damp proofing, but it keeps the government from your savings like the damp from your floors. With Trump staying in the White House, with Trump staying in the White House, with Trump staying in the White House, and everything that we're watching right now, everything that we're seeing, we're seeing the largest sting operation the world has ever seen. We have initiated certain fail safes that shall safeguard the public from primary fallout, which is slated to occur 11-3 upon the arrest of Mr. Podesta, actionable 11-4. During January 6th, what is Trump going to do? He's going to present the fraud. He's gonna show hard data. He's gonna show video. He's gonna show the Dominion machines being hacked. He's gonna show much more than that. Here we are one day before the inauguration. Trump today gave his farewell speech. People are very nervous about this. But remember, for optic reasons, Trump is never going to let on that there's an operation. Everything is going as planned. This is a sting operation. You don't make announcements. You don't tell people what you're doing. And I kid you not, now this pathological liar is telling people that Joe Biden might be in on it. He might be the one to pull the trigger. You would think it's a parody, but it's not. This guy is really this dishonest. He lies all the time. And he's amassed one of the biggest followings in the right-wing movement, brainwashing millions of patriots into complete delusion. The dude is a pathological liar, or maybe it's his job to just deceive people and run them on a constant and chase like a donkey or a horse trying to catch the carrot that never comes. I'm not sure what his intentions are and I'm not going to pretend like I know, but it's just shocking to me that they're following almost the exact playbook of Operation Trust when the Bolsheviks and communists wanted to deceive patriots into thinking there was a secret plan so they never actually did anything themselves and they used generals and very popular people. All of this was expected. All of this is part of the sting operation we're running. And let me tell you that 48 hours ago, not only did we put markers on those ballots, seven days, let me repeat it again, Jones, it's going to be Trump. It will not be Biden. Biden's people will be arrested. There will be people who will be arrested. Pelosi, Biden, Schumer. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Speaking of a general who pushes the QAnon stuff and this idea that he's 100% sure that Trump's going to be in office for four more years and Biden's not going to get inaugurated, here's General Flynn saying that recently. He's 100% sure that Trump's going to remain in office. He said this the day before the Capitol riot set up where dozens of people got arrested and hundreds of people lost their social media accounts. Take a look. What is your call to the American people right now. Well, my big message is that the uh, the truth is going to come out. Donald Trump will continue to be the president of the United States for the next four years. There's no doubt in my mind. When I'm asked on a scale of one to ten, what's, what's the scale that you put th that Trump will be the next president? I say ten, without a doubt. That is the truth. And I'm sure General Flynn and his family are great people. God bless them. But why do people trust him so much, despite the fact that He's clearly lying here, and he was totally wrong about that. And people trust him because he's an authoritative figure, and he worked in the government, so they think he has secret intel that he's feeding them to be 100% sure. So he's giving people false hope. Donald Trump will continue to be the president of the United States for the next four years. There's no doubt in my mind. When I'm asked on a scale of 1 to 10, what's, what's the scale that you put that Trump will be the next president, I say 10, without a doubt. That is the truth. But why do people trust him so, so much? Of course, it's because he got fired in the Trump administration, but the main reason that he's gained a cult following is because of QAnon, the anonymous poster that's deceived people into believing that they're receiving secret military intel about a sting operation where one day all of their enemies are gonna be arrested. But of course, none of them predicted Joe Biden getting into office and Trump not finishing four more years because it kind of ruins the whole theory and proves that it was a hoax. 
post. But if you look at General Flynn's resume on April 17th, 2012, President Barack Obama nominated Flynn to be the 18th director of the Defense Intelligence Agency. Flynn took command of the DIA in July 2012. He also became the first U.S. officer allowed inside the Russian military intelligence headquarters in Moscow. I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm just saying he worked under Obama and he's an intelligence community guy. I'm not knocking his work, but I'm not just going to blindly follow this guy and act like he's the return to the Messiah when he's telling me he's 100% sure Trump's going to be there when he's 100% wrong, lying and getting millions of people brainwashed by this QAnon ideology that they don't actually have to save their country. Lockdowns, quarantines, FEMA camps. I mean, who cares about all this? Because there's a secret sting operation that we've known all along. QAnon told us years ago, it's a secret plan. Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out it's not a secret plan if they told you, and it's not sneaky if you're telling millions of people on Twitter and YouTube all the time. It's not secret at all. The military wouldn't tell you on a message board, and they certainly wouldn't say it three or four years in advance. Accounts like X-22 act like he's a secret wizard, and he knows that they're sneaking up on Joe Biden in the inauguration to surround him, but how is it sneaky when he's broadcasting it to millions of people? It's not. They're either pathological liars, so hopeful that they've put their faith that should have been in God into political movements, or maybe they're purposely lying to people. At this point, it's worth your consideration because it's getting kind of weird. Mike Lindell, my pillow guy who people started trusting, he said he was 100% sure that Trump was gonna stay in office. Going on that I can't say, all I wanna do is give everybody confidence that Donald Trump's gonna be your president for the next four years. 100% Donald Trump is gonna be your president in the next four years. We cannot, uh, I don't want anyone out there to lose the faith. He, of course, lied too. Lynn Woods gained a huge audience. He said just this week, Trump will be president for at least four more years. At least four more years? So he thinks he's gonna be there for more than four more years? He won. So just be patient. Trust the plan. Every lie will be revealed. It takes time because so many lies for so many years. Trust God, trust truth, trust Trump. No, trust God. Don't trust political leaders. Don't trust somebody who's been selling a Moderna vaccine and emergency rushing mRNA vaccines through a approval, who didn't pardon Julian Assange, Edward Snowden, or Ross Ulbricht, but instead pardoned a Democrat politician? Put your godlike faith into him. And people like Lynn Wood, who of course are great lawyers, but have multiple time posted hoaxes and had to take them down, posting a hoax article about the Pope being arrested that was fake in a Photoshop Nancy Pelosi picture. I mean, clearly this guy's not good at accuracy and research, and he's another one with the where we go one, we go all. Trust the plan. Isn't that interesting? A general, a very famous lawyer, who was mostly Democrat his whole life, but that's fine, everybody changes. Simon Parks, who his family admittedly worked with the CIA and the NSA and British military intelligence, and an anonymous message board, X-22, who never shows his face, praying medic who's lied to people for three years, admitted disinfos necessary, and said, trust the plan, trust me, I get messages from God. But I think Pompeo is sending out some signals that, um, Things are not as they seem. And that's that's what God is showing me. Um, I've been getting regular messages from God and he's, he continually shows me things are not as they seem. Orchestrating a movement that's exactly like Operation Trust, which the Bolsheviks schemed, what better way to keep people complacent than telling them the solution already happened? The real solution is changing yourself to change the world, not giving up your God-given liberty. People like Bastia and leaders of liberty and freedom in the 1700s, 1800s, and 1900s, they all use the term God-given freedom and God-given given liberty. That's because they believe the American constitutional right was a God-given liberty and no man could take it away from you. Over the last 100 years, men have been taking it away from you, from Obama to Bush to Donald Trump. He infringed on the First Amendment. He infringed on the Second Amendment. He didn't stop the lockdowns and try to uphold the Constitution. He was in on it. 15 days to slow the spread. He extended it past Easter. And Trump supporters just make up lies and excuses, pretending like it was just the governor's and he had no part. That's not true. It's become a cult. People don't trust God. They don't trust themselves. And they don't believe in their God-given liberty. They run circles around Donald Trump, Lynn Wood, General Flynn, Praying Medic, X-22, Simon Parks, and think that that's going to lead them to the solution. Meanwhile, these people are telling them to trust an anonymous message board poster who's posted stuff like trust Sessions, trust Jeff Sessions, made millions of people trust Bill Barr. Now people are fanatical about Mike Pompeo because his social media team posted every 30 minutes. Oh, it's a code. I'm a secret wizard and I'm getting codes from Mike Pompeo. 
No, he's just scheduling tweets. If you look closely at Pompeo's Twitter timeline and his messaging, I think he's sending out some signals. And you're putting your trust in a guy who admitted to you at his agency, they openly brag about not telling the truth. It's kind of what their whole profession is. When I was a cadet, what's the first, what's the cadet motto at West Point? You will not lie, cheat, or steal, or tolerate those who do. Hmm. I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. It's, it was like, we, we, had, we, had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it reminds you of the, uh, uh, the glory of the American experiment. Um, I've been getting regular messages from God. Um, I've been getting regular messages from God. Um, I've been getting regular messages from God. So I think a lot of people mean really well. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I don't like to sit here and claim I know who's who. Hopefully most of these people are just making a huge mistake. Maybe they're just fundraising and making a lot of money off it. Maybe it's a setup. I have no idea. I'm not going to pretend to. But anybody who tells you that FEMA camps are secretly for Joe Biden when they're actually to vaccinate you, somebody who tells you to just trust the plan of lockdowns and quarantines because there's a super military sting operation, and someone who could look you in the eyes and say, I'm 100% sure about something that they're 100% wrong about. 100% Donald Trump is going to be your president the next four years. Donald Trump will continue to be the president of the United States for the next four years. There's no doubt in my mind. When I'm asked on a scale of one to 10, what's, what's the scale that you put that Trump will be the next president? I say 10 without a doubt. That is the truth. A new look at everything. With Trump staying in the White House, it might be a great time to look at Noble Gold's security option. Seven days. Let me repeat it again, Jones. It's going to be Trump. It will not be Biden. Biden's people will be arrested. You should be very skeptical and have discernment because the devil knows how to play both sides. It's not about left and right, although I think one side has a little bit better of policy. Right and wrong doesn't have a side. Good and evil doesn't have a side. True and false doesn't have a side. And you become the exact hypocrite that you claim you're fighting when you have no self-awareness and no self-accountability, no discernment. You don't like CNN for being fake news. You don't like Fox News for being establishment, but you're willing to follow Simon Parks who lies to you about FEMA camps and secret sting operations. You are fake news. You're the same thing as mainstream media, just an offshoot. And in some cases, I would consider it worse because with CNN, most Trump supporters know not to trust mostly everything that comes off of that news website. If you're Simon Parks, General Flynn, QAnon, Praying Medic, X-22, Mike Lindell, People trust you. You're an authority figure. They know that you know Trump, so they would assume you wouldn't tell them that you're 100% sure about something that you lied about. They trust you because you're on their side. So in many cases, it's even worse than CNN when they're being fed disinfo by lawyers, intelligence operative generals, and anonymous Q decoders who worship a message board that quite possibly could have been a Bolshevik psyop since the beginning. Have you ever wondered why they don't ever go for the person who posted it? It's a honeypot trap. They're wiping out anybody who posts about it. So you become that, you make it your identity because you follow Linwood and General Flynn and you think you're part of the crew. And where does it get you? Banned off social media, stand for what's right. I'm not saying to be a coward for what's right, but it's a hoax, it's a psyop. And I don't know if it's ego, I don't know if people are naive, I don't know if it's like a low IQ thing, or I don't know if people are just so egotistical. But after the 20th and the 21st, these accounts that have made a killing, and trust me, it's way more profitable to do what they're doing. Simon Parks, there's a military operation. Trust me, guys, I have faith in Trump. The military is going to save you. Don't save yourself. It's going to be the military that saves you. They have a plan. Trust me, where's the proof? They don't have proof. They're lying. They're making a killing off deceiving you. It's evil. It's not God's plan just because they drop a Bible quote, lie, 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 Bible quote, and then they piggyback off of what Julian Assange released in 2016. Trump didn't pardon Julian Assange, and all the people that Trump employed that you trust under QAnon are people that want Assange dead or rotting in jail. So you form a whole movement off of the information he released in 2016, throw him to the curb, and try to screech and scream at anybody who has common sense and discernment to tell you to wake up. When Q says disinformation is necessary, the, the suggestion there is that they know there are intelligence operatives who are hostile to Trump, who are watching the board, and Q is having them focus on something over there while something over there is actually going on. That's the necessary part of, the, of disinformation. It's what you're describing that he's doing to them? 
a lot of people think that he's doing to you is having you guys run in circles. And like, I, I think Q's uh, a, um, a de- psyop or whatever to get conservatives and Trump supporters okay with martial law. And that was a the whole theory I never heard. And I was like, oh, because you, you guys do seem kind of like, you know, it's, it, there might be the National Guard. That's OK. So I also, you know, what do you think if, if he was doing it to us and in, in order to get us to uh, be OK with martial law? Q is a psyop. Okay. <laughs> well, I I'm, guess that's I'm something like, that all, all sides can, can agree on that. It, all sides it, can agree. Understand what the real meaning of the word psyop is. Do research on your own. Of course, human and child trafficking is real and you should do research on it, but you shouldn't follow political leaders and anonymous programmers who constantly just dangle a carrot in front of your face and have a mind control psyop tactic where the goalposts are literally unlimited because they speak in little fortune cookie codes and every time that they're wrong, they tell you, I lie to you purposely, disinfo's necessary. So con artists like Praying Medic are like, yeah, like 60% of it or so is just disinfo and it just blows my mind how fun it is it's an abusive relationship it's called stockholm syndrome when you're getting abused and you fall in love with your abusive leader that's who these influencers really are let's go back to disinformation all right I, to, I just want to say real quick about that yeah, before you get into disinformation yep. don't you don't you because here's where i think i mean any person with a fairly high iq could put people in this sort of matrix i call it the yeah. fortune oh, the, for, the fortune cookie matrix of like obviously if you say broad terms about people that any way it plays out it's going to play out because yes. it's if trust any, sessions if he does something it's trust sessions if he leaves it's trust is leaving if like yeah. he's he's yeah, created yeah. a matrix of total uh total i, I get know, that yeah i get that it's sickening. And a lot of people who follow it are chill, but a lot of people who follow it are not chill because they've become so entangled and brainwashed that they don't know up from down, left from right, or true from false anymore. They live in a total Looney Tune reality. So when I was trying to do reporting on lockdowns in March, April, May, and June and explain what they are, a lot of Q followers were lashing out at me because people like Praying Medic program them to think when martial law and lockdowns come, that's the good guys arresting the bad guys. That's what they programmed to do. And I debated them in 2018 about this and I warned, what if something like this happens? Aren't you concerned that you're brainwashing conservatives and patriots into thinking that lockdowns and quarantines are good things? And he didn't care then and he doesn't care now. None of them do. I don't know who they are or what their motive is, but if you watch my channel and if you're an American patriot, I care about you. Because if we have a movement of 100 million people who are all getting stronger, who are all willing to stand up and be the solution and be the change and understand that nobody's gonna do it for you, we could save the country. If you follow hoaxes and psyops for four years as they suck our country dry in both parties for medical tyranny and the leader that you thought was gonna save you isn't gonna save you, it's not the end of the world. It just means we have to step up. But it's hard to get people to step up because half the Republican party's worshiping QAnon, the fake Bolshevik psyop hoax, and the other half is worshiping Donald Trump more than they even worship their God-given liberty. So when Trump is involved in a government that takes away your God-given liberty, people that pretend to care about God-given liberty all of a sudden don't care because there's a theory for it. It's five-dimensional chess. It's a FEMA camp operation to arrest the enemy. It's this, it's that. It's meanwhile, people have become just as fake news and detached from reality as the left wing that they claim to be fighting. And this is what the enemy will want to do to you. They love people who do this stuff to you. They're embarrassing you, making you look stupid, using it as justification to censor you even more than they already are. And you don't even have the truth to show for it. It's really sad. And hopefully after reality sets in, people will realize this, but the con artists, the grifters, and the pathological liars on YouTube and BitChute and Telegram and Gab and Facebook and all social media, they can play this game forever in the same way that Fauci can move the goalposts from you could be free when there's a vaccine to, well, actually, you have to wear a mask and need two doses and it's not done. It's the same type of logic. Goalposts moving forever, carrot dangled in front of your face, run patriots in circles, use decades old conspiracy theories that were true, and then invert them like a devil to making people think the opposite. William Cooper warned people about FEMA camps and Simon Park comes around and says that they're secretly good. I mean, it should be pretty obvious what's going on, folks, but please use your discernment. And that's all I ask. Use your head, 
Don't get caught into this emotionally. Don't be naive. Don't be a fool. Don't be so egotistical that you're not willing to admit that you're wrong. Because the future of this country depends on whether tens of millions of people run in circles with these liars or tens of millions of people stand up for themselves and realize that they have to be the leaders that they were looking for, not worship false idols like a messiah. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Have a beautiful day and I'll be back with more videos. Thank you to everybody supporting on Patreon. That's why I'm able to even be here in the first place. Stay in touch with me.com is my free email list. And as always, have a beautiful day. I'll be back with more videos soon.